Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Cadiz Brown Eyes, and yes, I'm back. I am doing a quick review. This right here will be the Black Web Glass Screen Protector. Like it says, easy alignment tray for flawless application. I promise that it is. And as you can see, it says it's for the iPhone 7 Plus and 8 Plus. Um, the, I would say don't try to get it and say, oh, well, you know, it might fit for this or that phone. Please go by what it says that it's for, which phone it says it's for. And I say that because it is an easy application, but... This is how it goes. <clears throat> As you can see, this is one of the trays that you use. It comes with a very easy application guide uh, on here. And it will tell you, you know, step by step, the simple things to do with it. There's more steps to it here. It's very, and I say very, very easy to do. It's very easy to do. And there it is again, telling you how to do it. As you can see, this part right here is what was very good for me. When you place your phone inside of here, inside of this tray, which is the phone tray, it's just going to show. Let's say this is my phone. <clears throat> You place it inside of here, and you're going to clean it. It comes with the um, screen cleaner wipe. Wipe off your screen. Make sure that you do not have your case on it, that your phone is bare. This right here is just showing you, like, an example of how your phone is. But you have the screen protector wipe to clean it off with. Get rid of any dirt, gunk, dust. Once you're done wiping it off with the screen cleaner wipe then you have this to polish it get rid of fingerprints and all the other good stuff but you're going to polish it and dry it off with this and then you also have this right here comes with it as well it looks kind of crazy because i've used it but you pretty much you use this to once you peel, get ready to peel it off or whatever it helps to get rid of uh fingerprints that might be stuck on there, dust or whatever. You use this, take it, put it over your screen, smooth it down, and it gets rid of any extra fingerprints and dust that's left over. Because <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have your screen as clean as possible because when you put this on here, whatever you leave on there is what's going to be underneath that screen protector. So... Once you've done all of that, clean it off very good. Um, the screen protector is going to be on this here. It's going to be on here. There's going to be a little tab like this here. There's going to be this on there. Don't touch it, but this piece right here that's hanging out, that's going to be hanging off the top, you're going to peel that back. Hold the sides of it while you're peeling it back. Because if you touch it, then you, you're going to start having fingerprints, dust, smudges that's going to be showing on your uh, screen protector once you place it on there. So like it says, peel off when you're ready to apply the glass. You peel it off at the top, grabbing it, <clears throat> and you're going to hold the sides. And it's not hard, I promise you, because I thought I was going to mess it up, but I didn't. And it has where you can hold the sides here with no problem. You're going to be able to hold it pretty good. Um, <clears throat> once you peel it off and you have it on there, I peeled mine off with it, like, from the back. You're going to peel it off and have it sitting on top of it like this. That's why it has the edges here. As you can see how the edges are. You're going to have it so it's sitting on top of your phone. And when you do, you need to line it up. When you get ready to line it up, um, <clears throat> the way that your phone has the little holes on it for, uh, your camera, your front face camera, and also for the speaker is going to be right up here at the top. You need to make sure that's what I went by, that it is aligned with those holes on top of it as well, because the part that you're going to have this down at the bottom, 
where you have, you know, your little circle. This part here. I wasn't too tough concerned about that because it's going to line up pretty well. It's going to be really decent. But the part that you have is going to be here, these holes. I, I try to make sure that you align it so that those are not uh, covered over when you do it. And <clears throat> once you have it aligned on there, you can't keep redoing it now. You know, um, once you have it aligned on there, it's not like it's going to stick automatically. That's why I said, that's why I'm telling you, like, make sure that you have it aligned on there, like how this is right here at the top. Because it's going to go around this part here with no problem. Once you have it on there, is when this part here, the shape like the eye, as you can see on here, you see how they're doing it? You go around it, just like how they are. And then that's when you start letting it mold onto the screen because you're gonna go around it with your finger on each side. You're gonna go around it. And when you do, that's when it's gonna start sticking. You're gonna take this part at the top Go ahead and take it off, and this comes off. Boom. You got your case on there. So once you start seeing, like, the bubbles, don't worry about it because it pushes out really easy before it actually stays molded onto there. I'm going to tell you to use your um, dust cloth. Go in, and I would recommend that you start smoothing from, like, how the eye was and start pushing out. I went around the edges of mine. To get all the bubbles out and when you do and it's finished i promise you you're gonna be so thrilled like yay i actually did it with no problem you don't have to keep reapplying it or anything like that and i will say with these glass screen protectors it's not like the ones that we all used to get uh when they first came out the little the ones that look like this it's all flabby that it was just a screen protector that was it for that would protect it from like scratches and dirt and stuff. No, this right here helps so that, like, if you were to drop your phone and this face down and you hit this, when you get ready to pick it up, it'll make sure that your screen is not cracked. But that glass protector, it will be because the one that I had before. I end up having some bubbles that were in mine, and I try to take it off of there. And once you take it off, any simple little bend will make it crack. So don't try to pick it up and redo it, and then you end up doing this number here. Then it's going to end up cracking and breaking. So that's going to be the review for it. I would recommend these. The, the one I got the one I very first got, I got it from Sprint, and I forgot how much it was. I know it was like um, in the two digits. I know I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I would say that it was a bit more expensive than this here. I got this here at Walmart, and it was uh, nine eighty eight for this one. <clears throat> Make sure that you get it for your uh, type of phone, please. But it's black web glass screen protector it's only one and um you also see like on the back of here on the back of it this is what you'll see also see got it from walmart so hope you enjoyed this uh review i would give it a i'm gonna give it a 10 because it's very simple instructions on how to do it and it's very easy to do and i didn't have any type of complications or anything i was just nervous at first for no reason so i would give this a 10 and hope you enjoy good luck